Acceptance is a very active process. There's nothing passive about it. It's not passive resignation, but it's an act of recognition that things are actually the way they are. Sometimes they're not the way we want them to be. So acceptance doesn't mean that we can't work to change the world or to change circumstances of one kind or another, but it means that unless we accept things as they are, we will try to force things to be as they are not, and that can create an enormous amount of difficulty. If we recognize the actuality of things, then we have the potential to apply wisdom in that situation to actually shift our own relationship to what is occurring in ways that might be profoundly healing and transformative. But without acceptance of one's situation, then it's very difficult to know where to stand. And without knowing where to stand, it's very difficult to take the first step. So some things are very hard to accept. Like when something, when you experience uh, pain, for instance, and you don't, in your body and you don't know what it's from, it's very, very difficult to accept it because we, first we want to know what it's coming from. And if we don't have any answer for what is causing the pain, then it can be very, very difficult to accept it. But what we find working with chronic pain patients is that before you can actually work with pain and suffering, you need to actually put out the welcome mat for it and accept it as it is. Because, But the first step is to actually put out the welcome mat for it, which is very hard to do when you're suffering but it's actually a gateway into uh, freedom from suffering. So that's one of the most powerful ways in which uh, uh, acceptance can be brought to bear uh, on uh, uh, healing and, and uh, transforming one's life. And is a very, very powerful uh, factor of it, and is a very, very powerful attitude in the cultivation of mindfulness. Mm -hmm.